Would you like to paint a personalized card for your brother on Rakhi? In this video, we are painting a watercolor greeting card for Rakhi. However, this tutorial can be used to create a greeting card for any occasion. Hi, I'm Prabhasini and on this channel, we together explore art by making it simple. So let's begin. So we will require a piece of watercolor paper, which I have kind of torn the edges to make it a deckled edge effect. The size is 8 inches by 6 inches and then I have taken a textured handmade paper in a green color you can choose any color that you like the size is 8 inches by 11 inches doubled then I have used brushes just two brushes one of them is size 8 and size 2 for watercolors I am using artist grade camel watercolors again you can use whatever watercolors you have a piece of tissue paper and a jar of water and we are ready to go So we are planning to paint a leaf arrangement over here and a message for our brother here. For the colors, I'm going to be using Hooker's Green and Prussian Blue. We are going to use one color uh, which I will prepare by mixing these two colors only. So I'm going to pick up some color from here, hookers green onto my palette. My palette is already a little messed up but it's going to work. I'm just going to pick up some, make some really dark green by using these two colors. So this much paint should be enough for us. Now coming over to start the painting, I have taken a very diluted, uh, I just washed my brush and with the leftover kind of paint it will give a very diluted color. I am just sketching out some branches which will give us the idea of how our leaves are going to be, it's like a guideline. And once that's there, now I'm just going in with a slightly darker color. This is a intuitive kind of painting. Um, I have not started out with a proper pencil sketch or something from the beginning. I have a broad idea that this is how I'm going to arrange and most of it is going to be intuitively placed so we've started painting some leaves I've kept uh, only one color that I used but how I'm getting the variation is I'm using a little diluted color that is I just dipped my brush in water and removed excess water and that this is the color that I'm getting out of the dark green that we just created on the palette. While these light color leaves are still wet, I'm dropping in a little bit of more pigment at uh, some of the points just to give a little dimension to these leaves. 
I'm thinking a branch coming down from this side will also look good. So I'm just putting some leaves there. And then just going around intuitively putting leaves in various directions. When you're painting you could you don't have to exactly place the leaves at the same location it is more like intuitively going around placing leaves in various directions but they should look a little like coming in one flow in spite of being in various direction they have a sort of a flow with them now I'm just dropping in a little bit of pigment here and there on while the leaves are still wet I would be putting a little pigment on few of the leaves and few of the leaves I will let them stay very light uh, so that they look like they are in the background Just continuing the same process. Now I am going in with a layer of really dark colored leaves. I have let the earlier layer dry a little bit so that I'm able to get uh, another layer of really dark leaves. To pick up a darker pigment, again the same color, but I have kind of used very little water to pick the color. That way the pigment has come really deep. So just few more leaves here and there I'm just looking around and adding a leaf or a little bit of a stem wherever it looks like it'll need a stem I have a previous uh, year's Rakhi video also on my channel in case you would like to check out another video tutorial to have another option to paint you please check uh, on my channel I'll put a link here Now I feel some more background leaves will be good so I'm just adding light colored leaves that is the same brush by washing it in water the leftover pigment will this will give this lighter color although it is the same uh, color same mix that I'm using that I showed you 
Once the painting is done, now we are ready to write this message for our brother. I am not very much into calligraphy, my confession, but I'm telling you honestly, when you make a handmade card and your handmade, you know, handwritten uh, message, even if it is not perfect calligraphy, it has its own charm. So I'm going with that and what I'm doing in this is just the down strokes I'm trying to give them a little, you know, wider strokes. Uh, with, with just that guideline I'm trying to write this and I'm sure you people will do a great job writing this and have fun writing it. So bless you brother. That's the message that I came that I came up with because Rakhi is a very pious uh, festival in which sisters send good wishes to their brothers tie a sacred thread that is Rakhi on uh, on the wrist of their brother uh, and wish them a long life and great success so this is a very very um, you know heartwarming siblings festival that's celebrated all over India Now I'm adding a, a light green shadow to the um, letters that gives another little bit of uh, kind of a 3D effect or a little bit of pop to the letters that I have done, which I confess is not absolutely perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So before I wind up this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel because I'm planning many more interesting videos like this and do let me know in the comments below what should we be painting in the next video. With that our watercolor painting pot is ready. Now we will be assembling it into a greeting card that we have planned so this is the textured paper handmade paper that we took I'm going to place this painting over this for that I'm just putting few dots of glue and that will hold the paper that will hold the painting to the handmade paper that should be enough just to keep it in place it looks so beautiful once it is placed on this textured paper it's giving it a framed effect now we'll just punch in two holes into this card like this and at this these holes i'm going to put a rakhi this is a uh, rakhi that I have purchased. You can get it anywhere in India or you can make one by just uh, by you know using a thread and few beads you can make one at home also. So I'm going to tie this rakhi over here. This time I'm planning to keep the knot on top and the beads inside like this yeah so it's ready thank you so much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and I'm hoping you'll send this card to your brother and impress your brother and until next time stay high on art